Hey guys, Dan Hood here, Big DH2000. Um, sometime back, old miser, Roger, contacted me. He wanted to, he wanted, you know, a, a nice natural, not just scrape bark and go. He wanted, you know, form, shape, sanded, that kind of thing, a little more on the custom side. He had a shooter that I was interested in trying, if nothing else, than to have in my collection. So we struck up a deal. He's always really admired the Ergo Chalice that I had. Um, those of you who know, I've uh, tool, tool shed cast it for me as well. So I've got two versions of it. I really like shooting it. I shoot it a, a lot. There's only one or two slingshots I like more than it. <clears throat> Um, so he'd really admired that, but uh, for those of you who don't know, that one is built specifically for my hand, and I, I've got big hands, so <clears throat> I needed to scale it down a little bit. Well, <clears throat> when I was scaling it down, I went a little nuts, <laughs> a little crazy, and really scaled it down, and I made four of them. Two of them are finished, the other two are about three quarters done, so I'm going to show you the two that are finished tonight. One of these is going to Old Miser, the other one will stay with me till somebody calls for or purchases it, but um, we'll start with the walnut one. This is a natural walnut fork, the, don't worry the cracks, you can see there's a crack in it, the cracks have all been stabilized. Um, the grain is running in the correct direction in all the places where you need strength. Uh, there was a nice um, saddle that I fixed too, but don't worry, it doesn't go all the way through, which makes the grain even stronger. For those who don't know, I really study the grain when I put these together. Um, that's kind of a hobby, a passion of mine. So very few of these will ever break along the grain. But anyway, this is a mini-me. For those who don't know here, you can see it on my hand to understand how small it is. And, I mean, it's incredibly comfortable. Okay? Anyway, walnut. this is a walnut fork that my son picked up while we were out on a walk. So that's the first one. We'll set that down there. And then this is the last of my U. It was a smaller fork, came over from Wales, I believe. Um, turned it into an Ergo Chalice as well. For those who don't know, it's even, it's even smaller, okay? They're both at the same distance. Once again, incredibly comfortable, uh, incredibly well, well seasoned. Um, once again, cracks that are important have been sealed and the grain has been studied and the grain is all in the right place for the strength in the right area. So <clears throat> I'll just hold these up and twirl these around for a minute. Let me turn so I can twirl them properly. Let you guys have a look-see. Anyway, I think I'm going to send the U to old miser because I think this one's just going to fit him just right with his with his uh, normal size hands and I think he's just going to love it so anyway hope you guys like them and there's two more like this coming if you're interested in something like this give me a ring